Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Let's With Na Lady. I'm Andrew in Conrose that I did on my previous video at Let's With Na Lady Oil Moisturizer. And I did Conrose after that oil moisturizer application. And I'm undoing my hair, heat tightening it, and plating. That's a lot of work. I know, I know, I know. I know. First thing, after, after I'm plating, I'm going to be detangling my hair with a wide toothed comb here and there actually the oil moisturizer made my texture so soft and it's so moist even though i'm still losing hair it's okay but the texture of my hair actually improved drastically it feels so nice and soft and moist you know it's nice i love it oh my goodness So if you also struggling with dry hair, you have to definitely try these oil um, applications on your hair so it can retain moisture and everything like that. So now on styling your afro, it can be a bit difficult because I don't know man, it's just it's not easy, it's not easy. But all you need is patience and creativity. That's all you need. That's all you need. First, I'm going to open a line there um, and make a little pony poof thing in my bob. A poof? Is it a poof? Puff? Bun? Tail? It can't be a tail. I mean, no. I'm just gonna cut it a puff. I made a puff in the middle and then the rest of my hair is also in a puff and then I'm gonna tie that puff into the wool and make another bigger puff at the back and that's that. Is it okay to call it a puff? I mean it's kind of puffy so it makes sense, right? <laughs> Maybe I should be a comedian, you know what? I don't know. Okay, so you're gonna apply water on your hair and make a puff in the middle, just like that. And then you go, you're going to take it a layer by layer. So after that, you're gonna comb the next layer. This means patience. Patience is a virtue, okay? So the next puff around the first puff you can use elastics or wool, whatever you, you want to use is okay. As long as it's, it, it's able to hold your hair in place, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is actually my favorite brush to use because it really detangles and keeps things flat. And thereafter, after brushing your hair and combing it, you're going to use the wool to pull it up into the puff at the top. Slowly but surely, careful, be careful. I remember I last did this in my other, other, other video, and at the end, the wall just slipped off because I was rushing. So I learned my lesson the hard way. Take it from me. You want to do this as slow as possible. You have to be patient, okay? If you want to do it right the first time, you have to be patient. When you're done, you can tie your wool and either cut the remaining ends or just pin it there with the bobby pin either we want to do so this is the final product so this is my natural hair with no extensions but with my next video tutorial hair tutorial